A lot of clients, patients, and even some doctors get really worried about posterior tongue ties. And they assume that a posterior tongue release is really different or scarier or worse than any other kind of tongue tie release. So let's talk about what a posterior tongue tie release really is. Here is your tongue. And one of the biggest muscles of the tongue is called the genioglossus. And the muscle fibers create this fan shape and its function is to lift the back of the tongue up or push the front of the tongue out. So when we go in for a tongue tie release, Sometimes if we just release the tongue tie itself, this right here, it still doesn't allow this back portion of the tongue to lift. And in order to get that part of the tongue to lift, we have to go in and shave a couple of these muscle fibers so that we now have more function in the back of the tongue. So we're not taking a part or a taking an entire muscle group out of the tongue. We're just filing some of these little fibers back so that we can get a bigger range of motion. So as you can see, posterior tongue ties and posterior tongue tie releases are nothing to be afraid of. If you think that you might have a posterior tongue tie, I highly recommend that you get it formally diagnosed by a provider. And if you are thinking about getting a posterior tongue tie release, I recommend that you search for a provider who feels comfortable and knowledgeable about posterior tongue ties. There are a lot of great tongue tie release providers that don't necessarily feel very comfortable with those. So it just may take you a little bit more time and internet searches to find somebody near you. I've uh, put some sources below that can help you find somebody. And last but certainly not least, I also recommend that you work with an orofascial myologist or a myofunctional therapist because they can not only prep you for surgery and rehabilitate you after surgery, but most of us can also help you find a provider near you so that you don't feel like you're doing it all by yourself. So I hope you found this useful. Feel free to use the links below or leave me a comment if you have any other questions. Cheers.